What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So, let me go ahead and launch this as a preliminary strike against uh, what I know is going to be in the comment section from some. This is their personal lives. We shouldn't speculate. It's none of our business. Well, let me go ahead and say this. I also believe that's the case when we're talking about Will Smith and when we're talking about his situation, what he's into in his marriage with Jada Pinkett Smith. It's really none of our fucking business, but we love to speculate about their marriage and other people's marriage. And look what they do in the NBA. Something that's supposed to be a private matter with the Boston Southern Organization became public consumption for everybody. So nobody is fucking exempt from this from now on. This is the new normal. Don't blame me. You blame people who already, before me, been past the pale when it comes to what is publicly decent to talk about with these celebrities. So, if you haven't heard the news, unfortunately, Tom Brady and his wife, Giselle Bunchen, are divorcing. Okay. Now this is something that I take pleasure in. I know I don't like Tom Brady, but there's nothing funny or fun about divorce. It's not. It's a breakup of a union that to me is holy. To me that, and I'm not a religious person, but marriage is something that I hold sacred. I think anybody that cheats in their marriage, unless there is some type of uh, agreement or arrangement in that marriage, then that's something different. But generally speaking, if you do something in that marriage that is against what the other party wants, I find that to be an egregious affront. Boyfriend, girlfriend, that's something different. Okay, shouldn't do it, but boyfriend and girlfriend is something different. But when you're married, that's something totally different. But I told you all that when Tom Brady took that leave, I said this back in August, that something was wrong. Something was wrong in that situation. I could just sense it. With the way that he was playing, the way he looked, his face, he wasn't content. And then the stories came out that he was having strife within his relationship. And I knew that that was going to have a tumultuous effect on his play this year. You can't have peace on the football field. And be successful on the football field while your personal life is in disarray. It doesn't really work like that. Look, maybe when you're 20, 21, 22, 19, and you're single, and you don't have these other responsibilities in your life, yeah, you can go out there and play great. But once you commit to having a family, once you commit to being married, um, that should be the balance of your life. And that's why I find Tom Brady culpable in this. Tom Brady, to me, became too wrapped up in his celebrity. I'm not trying to make Giselle Bunchen out to be some uh, innocent party totally. But from what I could tell, she has put her life and her career on hold for several years while Tom Brady got to play superhero in the NFL. And after 20-something years, and after 13 years of marriage, this was supposed to be it. This is a time when Tom Brady was going to be able to spend more time with the family, and Giselle was supposed to be able to finally, uh, you know, after being an at-home mom for the entire period of time, to be able to pursue some of her career exploits. But then Tom Brady totally reneged on the situation and chose to play football again. And I think this is something that has been a problem for a little while. 
he doesn't seem to be content with wanting to be a, a, a father and a, a husband. And some people are like, well, he don't have to be that. He could be a football player who wants to. Let me ask you something. <clears throat> if you were married to... Mm, just trying to pick somebody out. Let's say you were married to Candace Parker, right? This is before she totally went fish, right? And she's still like beef. Let's say you were married to Candace Parker. And you're not just some regular dude, okay? You're, uh, let's say you're, you're, you're successful in your own right. But you're putting your career on hold and you're taking care of the family, you're taking care of the kids. But Candace Parker is totally wrapped up in her career as an athlete and as a commentator. And she's rarely at home. The only time you hear from her is like some sporadic phone calls. Uh, you're taking care of shit at home. And then when you think that the sacrifice is over, she's like, nah, I'm going to still go do what I'm going to do. You, you, you're still going to have that feeling? You're still going to feel like, okay, well, yeah, I understand. No, you're going to be like, are we married or what? Aren't we enough? Aren't we enough? Our, our family? No, totally. Really, be honest with you, you even got to start thinking, is she really even committed to me anymore? She's probably fucking whoever. And that guy that has to go through Giselle Bunch in mind after a while. She wasn't enough. Um, the family wasn't enough. The thing that really gets me, man, is he picked his career over his family. And people can spin it how they want to. That's awful. And unfortunately, he picked his career and his family is broken apart. And it's a sad thing. It's really fucking sad. And um, the Buccaneers are three and five. He's having the worst season of his career. He should have never came back. I'm pretty sure he has a lot of regrets right now. And as much as I get on Tom Brady right now, I, my heart goes out to him. My heart goes out to him because you don't want to see that. But sometimes, man, people aren't joking when they say, look, I'm tired. I'm sick and tired. Okay? I'm tired. You, you got to make a choice, man. Is it your career your fame, or is it us? And he chose the former. So, tell me what you guys think.